Wheelabrator plant was supposed to be closed after the landfill was filled, but they filed for a five-year extension. And Wheelabrator is one of two unlined landfills in the state of Massachusetts. And when they have spills that affect the wildlife in the area, they are willing to pay for the fine rather than fix the problem. Which is like putting a band-aid on your herpes. I think the next time Wheelabrator causes a spill, they should have to turn their ash into cash and give it back to the communities that they are destroying. Or they can give up like two-thirds of their annual income instead of a slap on the wrist of a few million dollars out of the billions of dollars they make. Let's get serious about environmental problems in America. These spills have been so bad that the shellfish is too contaminated for human consumption, which means Boston is about to lose its clam chowder, and there will be no food for them to contribute to the culinary landscape of America. Maybe Willowbrader will sell some poisoned clam chowder under its new name, Freedom Chowder. Now, this plant has caused cancer, respiratory problems, and... The studies are claiming there is no underlying causes, which means there's a lot of scientists that are part of this study that are exercising their freedom to be lazy. And also corporate chills. This plant has caused a lot of divide because the people on its side are claiming they've done a lot of good for the community. They're donating to schools, contributed about 60 full-time jobs and massive amounts of money in taxes. This basically means Wheelabrator is holding these people hostage under the guise of money, employment, and creating rarities in wildlife. Their acts of charity are clouding these citizens from the actual clouds of poison destroying their life. Maybe that's what it is. In order for profit over people to make sense, your air and water has to have so many toxins in it that it's rotting you from the inside. To decrease your brain function so the only freedoms you can think about is breaking free from the shackles of the corporate thumb by playing the game and making money. Since that's the only thing life is about according to the purveyors of trash like Wheelabrator. The solution to this is pretty simple. Uh, the byproducts have to be recycled and uh, don't build plants that put toxins into the air next to cities and towns. Oh, and don't build them next to a river because it'll poison that too. But that's regulation and if we have that, then Russia will win and they'll get all of our trash. And then we're gonna be left with only all of the trashy people.